After verifying the patient's identity using at least two identifiers, such as first name and last name, or date of birth, place your patient in a supine position with their arms above the head. For the patient's comfort, place a pillow or an inclined plane under the patient's head. You can also place leg elevation pillows under the patient's knees. Center the internal axial plane laser light on the appropriate landmark. Here we use the jugular notch of the sternum. Make sure that the lateral laser light is set at mid thickness of the chest and that the longitudinal laser light is placed on the median sagittal plane. Remember to close the doors of the examination room and perform proper hand hygiene, such as use of a rub with alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Select your patient from the work list, then click on Patient Selection. Verify the pre-filled information and fill in the patient's weight and height. Finally, choose the appropriate protocol. Check that the patient's position on the table matches the one indicated. Note that the patient's orientation is feet first. After verifying the scan parameters, click on Confirm. On the keyboard, move the table and initiate the acquisition when the buttons flash. Repeat to obtain a lateral view. Click on Next Series. Place your slices box on the frontal or AP localizer image in such a way as to cover the apex of the lung superiorly and the ischial tuberosities inferiorly. Check your coverage on the sagittal localizer at mid-thickness of the patient's body. Depending on the instructions of the radiologist, it could be indicated to stretch the acquisition in order to include the scrotum or the scapula. Verify the consistency of acquisition parameters, which are often pre-configured. Before continuing, check the predicted dose is consistent with the diagnostic guideline values. Check the reconstruction ranges. For the acquisition of chest, abdomen, pelvis CT scan, there should be at least a reconstruction on the chest, abdomen, and pelvis. A smooth filter is used for analysis of organs and should cover the entire acquisition. A sharper reconstruction filter is used for the study of the lung parenchyma and would only have to cover the acquisition of the lungs. A sharper reconstruction filter could also be required for bone study. Click on Confirm. Using the keyboard, move the table and proceed to acquisition when the buttons flash. Verify the absence of patient motion on the acquisition and that all pertinent anatomy has been covered. After clicking on End Examination, you can do multiplanar reconstructions along with planes required by the radiologist.
At the end of the examination, accompany the patient back to the changing room and tell them they may get dressed. Provide the patient with any post-examination instructions as indicated at your facility. Thanks for watching. For more great clinical content and special offers on CE credits, follow us on socials.